Hey everybody, it's Colette Baron reed Welcome to this week's Oracle Card Guidance and Lesson. But before we start, woohoo! We reached 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. Yay! Thank you! And to celebrate that, we are gonna have a sale. Starting on the 23rd, the big sale, 50% off on all my meditations to celebrate the 50,000 mark here on YouTube. And now it's time for a dance party! going to be using the seven energies oracle again and i picked seven cards to give us a energy report on what's happening this week upcoming now you're going to pick a special card for you too so you're either going to pick oh crap look at this i am here on camera with a really yucky broken i don't even remember doing that before i got in here don't look <laughs> so you're going to pick a card not my thumb Card number one, or card number two, or you're gonna pick card number three, or four, or five, or six, or card number seven. So whichever one you vibe with right now, you're gonna go, okay, I'm gonna pick that number. That's gonna be the extra card for you this week. Now let's tell the story for everybody. Okay, so um, first card is Roots of Abundance. So I love this card. This is the energy that relates to how we, uh, how we are grounded in the material world how we feel about our contributions, et cetera. And this is telling us that what we are doing and what we focus on are going to put roots down. So it's kind of also like the idea that if you plant something in your garden, it's going to take root and flower later. So this is saying here that our main fo focus this week is around abundance, but abundance doesn't mean money or things you accumulate. It means a different type of view of what abundance could be, love, connection, peace, uh, liberation, uh, good feelings. Like what do you have an abundance of? Cause that's the focus of, right? So if you have an abundance of stuff you don't want, this will also be a way for you to tweak that this week. But anyway, so roots of abundance, a very nice beginning. Second card is the storyteller. So what do we tell to ourselves about abundance? What's the story that we tell? Um, do we see ourselves as less than and having less than? Um, do we feel that somehow we are, we are in a cycle of lack? So, so there's, that's really just a mindset. I'm not talking about actual experience in the outer world. I'm talking about the way we think. And this is the energy, is this, the stories that we're actually all of us looking at these subjects this week and taking a look and going, okay, well, where do we fit in this story? Now, the third card is great big love. And I love that. This is about generosity and sharing. So if you take these three cards together and see how they work in motion with the other ones. Uh, so the first card is around security. The second card is around the way we identify with security and the story that we tell about that and our safety and our, and our sense of of abundance inside us. It's not about accumulating stuff, remember? And then the third one is like sharing, great big love. You know, we feel gratitude. So it's asking us this week to get into that spirit of gratitude and share, even in the smallest way, our experience, strength, and hope with someone else or, you know, a community or, you know, how do we share with each other? Because this is all about connection now. And that's the energy of the heart. Now we add a fourth the illusion. And I think what this means is that, you know, many of us are waking up to the illusion that stuff doesn't make us happy and that wealth, uh, sh that, that wealth isn't about the accumulation of how much stuff you have and what status that you have in a society that may not be just. This is more about looking over it and going like, what really makes me feel um, abundant is that my, the quality of my relationships, the quality of my contribution, the quality of how I live in the world. And that's really asking us that now, like, and what's the illusion? What do you need to bust through, um, in order so that we can share more? This is a we card. It's about us, not me, right? It's not about me, me, I, I, it's about all of us. YouTubers, oh my God, we reached 50,000 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep subscribing, keep sending these videos to your friends if you think they're gonna like them. Keep leaving comments and keep connecting. I'm so excited to announce that. And don't forget, if you haven't yet, 
click that button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share with your friends, la 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 cha cha. <laughs> the sacred reverence. Oh, I love this card. My artist is amazing. So for card number 47 is a sacred reverence and it's all card number five. Um, and that's really about the view, the spiritual view that we see through, like the lens. Do we see everyone as sacred? Can we be reverent and respectful to every aspect of the world, of life, of, of the earth that we stand on, of our, of our contributions, of each other? Um, this is really asking us to come together this week. If you look at this whole thing as we're readjusting our storytelling and the way we see what's meaningful and what has real genuine value. And I think that's what this, so far anyway, that's what the first five cards say. Now let's talk about card number six, see how it adds to the story. Beautiful, the land between, we're not there yet. So this is really coming up a lot. I get, I get a card like this personally frequently, and that's the, the uh, imagination and intuition where we have goals and desires and intentions to see the world in a certain way. And it, we want it now. We, do, we, worry, we want it yesterday. And sometimes we don't give it enough space or time to actually breathe through it and really integrate what we need to change. And it doesn't happen as fast as we want, so we get super disappointed. So this is suggesting to us, and for anybody that's really feeling this energy, that we kind of have to get comfortable while things are in that flux, while things are changing, or while we are on this journey um, to evolve into something better. And, and that in-between place sometimes can be feeling makes you feel lost because you're, you have one foot in the past and one foot in the future that you want. And it's not quite, you know, it's not quite gelling, can't go back and you're not there yet. So this is where you actually are. So that's the whole idea of staying in the moment and staying now is to look at your life now, not later. Like, okay, how do I, how do I feel more abundant now? How do I change my values around what that actually means? Can I share more with others? Can I bust through the illusions that I've been conditioned to think are important? Can I see every life and person and experience as sacred, even my mistakes? Can I wait? <laughs> Can I have some patience this week? It, you know, as I am learning, you know, and as I'm integrating it, I mean, it, nothing changes overnight, although sometimes it feels like it's changed overnight and we're like, ah, but in fact, those things have taken time. They've been, everything is always in motion, right? Now let's see, where do we land? Beautiful. We land right back in earth magic. Everything that we are looking at right now, all of us are, are trying to determine energetically where we fit on this earth, how we relate to others in our societies, you know, how we love, genuinely love, how do we treat each other, and how do we change some of the unconscious things that we have learned that we didn't even know we were learning. And all of this is kind of brewing for everybody. And so here it says, how do we actually ground that into reality? But that is the destination and the intention both. So it's rethinking our values and our, even our ethics and our, you know, our commitment to one another, as well as the, how, how we view the world. Again, it's around values. Like what do we really think is abundant? Um, and then at the very end of it is like, can we actually bring all that home, right? Of course we want that. Everybody wants that. I mean, at the end of the day, there's a sense of peace and comfort and, and hope that every single human being, no matter where they live, they want that. We want that. And this is saying we can have it. It just takes a little time to reorganize ourselves from the inside out in order to see that out pictured in the world that we actually experience externally. All right, I'll see you next time. YouTubers, subscribe to my channel if you want to get these kind of readings in your inbox every week. What you do is you click on the little button and a bell comes up and you click on that and then you will get the notification. All right, see you next time. Leave a comment. We love reading them. Take care.